So I decided to film a makeup tutorial and I am extremely, extremely hyper. Note to self, always drink coffee before you do videos because it actually gives you a personality in your videos. If you looked at my older videos, they were kind of like bleh. And um, now that I started like drinking coffee again because Starbucks got their eggnog latte and I just drank a venti of that and it was freaking awesome. So I'm very, very excited. Um, but I filmed this well-requested makeup tutorial and a lot of people on YouTube have been messaging me about it and they've also tweeted me about it because before I filmed this, I posted it on Twitter and everyone was like, okay, do a neutral look. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, link will be down below. Um, but yeah, and then also in my comments, like a lot of people want to see a uh, more like school makeup tutorial or like a work makeup tutorial. So you can definitely use this, um, especially if you wake up looking like a meat ball, like I do. I said meat ball instead of meat ball. Um, meat ball, like I do. Um, sorry, Snooki, I took your word. But a meat ball, um, because your face is like puffy or you just don't look awake in the morning because I have that that problem I have that extreme problem. I do not I am not a morning person. I do not look good in the morning um, So yeah, so this is my tip and my trick on how I Get my skin to look the way I want it to and to look awake and revived and not like I just woke up from the grave um kind of tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It'll make you look nice and awake and all you need is one simple palette or if you already have these neutral colors, it's, it's one of the staple colors that you already have. You might need to go out and buy just a couple of little things, but it's definitely something I wore a lot when I was in school and I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial and thumbs up if you like it, dislike or thumbs down if you hated it. Um, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you are a subscriber, let me know in the comments and I will message, I will comment you back in the bottom bar. And yeah, enjoy this tutorial. Bye everyone. What I've already done is I have applied my NYX eyeshadow base all over my lids to prevent any creasing. And then I'm going to take a shimmery white and apply that right under my brow bone and also use a domed brush to apply it into your inner tear duct area and that'll bring out the white in your eyes and make your eyes look a lot more awake. And then I'm taking a small flat shader brush into a soft brown and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And then I am going to take a brown with a little bit of red shimmers into it and use a crease brush and just start to blend and work that in right into your crease and above the crease also put it right into your outer V as well and just keep blending it in so you have a really nice gradient effect. And the next step is to take a bigger blending brush and I'm going to go into a softer, really light brown and place that right above the brown that we just applied to kind of blend that out. And then I'm going to take a domed brush and apply a dark sparkly brown and I'm going to start by pushing that right into my lash line and then applying that right into my outer V and dragging it into my crease and above the crease. This will make your eyes look a lot more bigger and also create more depth. But you can skip this part if it's too much for you. And then next is just to take a blending brush to soften up the edges and create a nice gradient transition. And then I'm going to take a dark brown and smudge that right in the outer corner of my bottom lash line. And then using a felt tip brown eyeliner, I'm going to start right from the midpoint of my lid and start a thick line. And then as I work my way in forward, I'm going to do a nice sleek thin line. And then I'm taking Lancome's Coffee Bean and I'm just going to line the rims of my eyes, curl my lashes, and apply several coats of mascara to top and bottom. And that is your finished eye look. You'll look a lot more awake, more refreshed. And now moving on to the face. I'm using NARS Oasis, which is a dusty rose, and I'm just going to apply that right onto the apples of my cheeks and work it into my temples with an angle brush. Then I'm using Lady Gaga's Viva Glam Lipstick and Lancome's uh, Lip Jelly in Clear for a nice high gloss shine effect. And that is your finished makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thumbs up, subscribe. And let me know what makeup look you'd like to see next. Bye, guys.